Hello folks, welcome back to Let's Play the Temple of Elemental Evil. Last time we left off, we had a ton of fun with some hill giants and some air elementals and then some bugbear chieftains. Then we proceeded to kill uh, some ghouls and a gelatinous cube and a grey ooze where we picked up some masterwork weapons which I've spared you guys the trip of me going and selling. I've kept the, uh, the masterwork glaive just in case basically and I've sold everything else so now we're ready to take on the house of horrors that is known as the temple of elemental evil now I haven't played this in a long ass time so I have no idea where I'm going I don't mean as in uh, I haven't played this since the last session no I mean I haven't played this in a while so I don't know the exact pathway here I do know it's generally a good rule of thumb to follow a, a straight path. But for some reason, my game is super loud tonight, but whatever can I do? Alright. We'll put Ku here tactically, and I'll have him uh, hold. No, I can't have him be ready for anything. Alright. Well, at least I could do this. That ought to do that. And then we're gonna... That's Grace. Cast that on him. Make him a bit more dexterous. Ow. We'll throw another sound burst over there. Because it's pretty good damage. Starts things off well. It does things like that that are pretty helpful. Alright. Mm. Stunned, stunned, stunned. Yeah. We'll get this one, because he's already badly injured, so he might as well die. <clears throat> and it's finally the bear's turn. He's been doing god knows what this entire fucking time. Oh, an attack of opportunity. Good for you. Good for you, too, because you missed. Ah, fuck it. Kill the shit out of him, caster. That's the way. And he's now badly injured. And wow, that guy actually fell unconscious from the... Um, and the sound burst, which is surprising. I haven't had that happen in a while. These guys just have money. If I recall. At all. Yeah. So. Shit's been pretty rough these past few days. Which is why I haven't been able to record anything. It was so hot that I literally had to move downstairs. Yep. That was pretty fucking weird. Not recording. I like get used to it. A great sword. I'll keep it. More more arrows. Bows, bolts, more silver arrows, and a heavy crossbow. All of which are things we can sell. So I'll take those. Empty and empty. Boy, oh boy, why am I not surprised? Alright. So let's move over on the other side. Check this out. And we have an ogre. That's fun. Isn't it, guys? We'll throw up an acid arrow on him. Throw up an acid arrow. Throw up an acid arrow! God, it's almost like I planned that pun out. Oh, great shot, man. We'll do a uh, spiritual weapon. Cast that right next to him. Have that hit the shit out of him right there. Yeah. She's still holding a charge. She's fucking awesome. Yes. Alright, so things have been going my way so far. Now, immediately as I've said that, uh, this dude is gonna crit and kill Ku. Son of a bitch. I was <laughs> damn close to that. We're not gonna let that happen. We're gonna use a Cure Light Wound spell. 
We're gonna heal Koo. Yeah. Nice. She's still holding a charge, and now he's dead. Oh, that went pretty well. For an ogre fight. Now, ogres have a good amount of cash. Practically always. Now time to check this barrel out. Short spear, magic spear, another magic spear. More silver arrows. Uh, more bolts. More more weapons that we don't need because they're completely normal. I mean, I can sell them, so I suppose I'll take them anyway. Is there anything else around here? No. Well, that was uh, pretty interesting. We're going to have uh, Arturia here heal. Heal up cool, because we need him to be as... To be as good as possible. So now that we're fine, we're gonna have a little bit of a rest for some eight hours is usually a good time to rest, because that counts as a long rest. And we get another ogre. Now that's interesting. Hmm, we didn't get any spells back. Okay. Me no wanna talk talk at you. <laughs> well, that's interesting. Really interesting. Wow. Jesus Christ. Can you not hit? Can you hit him from there? No. Okay, that was a miss. Nice. We'll not do much with the druid here. We'll still stab at. We'll have at him. It'd be awesome if the bear kills him, but it didn't. Oh well. Alright, so. That was, um. That was new. That was something new. Search. No, that's not it. Search device to save. Script. No. Power attack. No. Talk. No. Options. Movement. Tactical. No. Why can I not loot this guy? Whatever. We'll rest another eight hours. Now we're fine. So that went well. Now we're gonna keep on going. Now I'd s suggest not going up either of the stairs or anything until you've cleared everything out. That's usually a smart idea because there's stuff to pick up along the ways and enemies to fight. Oh, this is a good one. Do I have an tangle or something? I do not, but I can summon nature's ally. And we're gonna summon one here, just to show you what you're fighting. You're fighting a ton of ghouls. So if you can get uh, a certain cleric over there, she would completely decimate them. Probably kill them all, actually. To make myself clearer. So we move Arturia around this spot. I don't know why she's so slow, but whatever. We'll turn undead. Destroy most of that are in range. I'm gonna produce a nice little flame here. Tons of fighting will be done in this episode. That's usually how it goes when stuff like this going on. I hate the ones that run. They really piss me off. Do I have a dash? Can I dash? Run? Uh, yeah, we can run here. That's good enough. Get right into there. And also move some more here. Stop it there. Oh, she really can't fucking move. She's super slow. So let's see if we can turn undead some more. Destroy those guys. Yes, we indeed did. Good thing about that. Uh... Oh, these are gas. That's why those guys haven't been turned. That makes a good amount of sense. To me, at least. I shouldn't have moved Ku over here now. She's gonna kill him. Oh, she didn't. Right. So we're gonna have to um, move Saber out. 
Because they're running from her, essentially. Basically means they'll keep running the complete opposite direction where she is. So you can sort of tactically plan things out. Get a dash. A run. Alright. Motherfucker went through an open door and out the other way he goes. Suppose I'll have Saber try and catch up with him. But there isn't much need. This battle is basically won. Alright, so he seems to be over here. Target blocked. Move as far as we can over here. We'll have uh, Medea follow along shortly. Oh, we're already at 10 minutes, 11 minutes of recording time. Still moving Saber as far away as possible. Well, Arturia. And uh, we're gonna have Rin keep moving along this way, because it should be fine. All we have is some more goblins here, so... They're not gonna do much. Now, since he seems to have apparently run off completely, I'm gonna have Ku go over and... Well, actually, I'm gonna have both of them go, come over and give backup to Rin here. And we're gonna have Saber move along this path. I can't, uh, I don't give a damn. Alright, so now we're here with her. We're gonna call up another nature's ally. Fire elementals seem to be pretty damn good at this kind of stuff. Because they mostly can't hit for shit, is what I mean to say. There's another ogre around here. Just, just goes to show how good this is. Now, if you had a fireball spell, which I don't, make that clear, I don't have a fireball spell. This would, this would have been very cool. <clears throat> or if you had anything that really can hit more than one enemy, which is why we're gonna summon a black bear right in here. <clears throat> to just have at the poor guys. They can't kill him that quickly. So we're gonna move. I know that there's a little asshole here. There we go. Alright. Alright. Move as far as we can inside. I can't really do much with that thing on me, so. Come on, Saber. You can make it. Oh my, you're pretty far from there. <clears throat> far out. Alright. Wow, those guys are retarded. Okay. We're gonna do the most damage we can to the ogre, because that's the most important thing right there. We're not going to move Ku yet. He's going to be ready versus approach. I have to uh, get to... We're going to have to think this one through. Alright. Managed to web most of them. Actually, fucking all of them. And we're going to have uh, Saber do a run. Run. How straight inside? Alright, that's about straight inside. I think that's farther than she can actually move, so that's good enough. Alright, so now that we have uh, webbed them, all we need to do is shoot a fire and it spreads. Like I've said uh, back in part two, I believe it was. Damn it, cool. You could have hit. Whatever, it worked out fine. So. That was okay. Oh, he's not gonna do do anything. Eh? 
Damn. Why is my game so loud tonight? I swear to God, I haven't done anything different. It's just loud right now. A badly injured ogre. Aww. Hey! The ogre is the only real threat here, so that's why uh, I'm working on him. I believe we have our sound bursts back, so... We can't effectively get everyone else in here. Jesus Christ, that sound effect was fucking loud! She's still holding a charge? Damn! And now... I think... Oh yes! He has stopped from being tuned. <laughs> that was quite funny. Eh? Alright. I think... Where's this guy at? What's he doing? Nothing. He is just staying there. I huh? wonder if... I um, wonder if he's still turned. Yeah, he's still turned. Now he's not though, so he should be coming. Soon. There we go. No, don't, don't run away. We are ready for you. We'll have a... We'll do him out with Rin. Because apparently... Fire <laughs> goes through all the walls. Now that we've instigated him by injuring him, he's gonna come straight at us and die. And hey, look, we've gained a level. Finally, we get to get that fireball spell. Mm-mm-mm. So, what do we do here? Go back up with Intimidate. Whatever else I've got here. Tumble is good. Survival is good. Spot is good. Oh my, I have two left. So we're going to go for Listen and Gather Information. Yay. Now, Cleric. We're going to keep investing. We're not going to multi-class at all. I believe I've made that clear and what was it? Part three, four? That I am not a fan of multiclassing in this game. Just because it doesn't work so well. Mm -hmm. Wizard. And we get extra spells and feats. Which I believe is actually create magic weapon, which is fucking amazing. We make a magic long spear, put like Frost attack on it or something? Craft magic arms and armor. We need this. Take that. Now, this is, um... Some spells that you can choose. You know, but now you have spells level 3. Which are immediately amazing. So, you want a lightning bolt? Alright. A lightning bolt, because it's usually uh, pretty damn good. The Stinking Cloud is actually pretty good as well. Sleet Storm, nice as well. So far, basically, level 3 spells are amazing, but the best one is Fireball. Oh man, oh man, it is fun. Now we're working on our Druid, who just gets the same stuff as everyone else. The wizard is really the only one who benefits from this level. But mm, we all get extra spells, casts and stuff. So now she gets spells level 3, which they don't tell you for some goddamn reason. Searing Ray is, I believe, pretty good, so you want that. I, I think I used Windwall at some point. Um, prayer, I think prayer was pretty good. Magic vestment, remove curse, magic circle against law, meld into stone, sing my wind wall, yeah. Those are living purge, inflict serious wounds. I'll just put two searing lights on. We move, uh, move around here and we get to equip either a lightning bolt, which is a straight line. Or a fireball, which we will put two of on here, because they're just insane. 
Now, she also gets level 3 spells, which you will use for Call Lightning, which is also a pretty overpowered spell. Oh, it seems... And... That would be it for this episode. It's gonna be really fun what we do next time, guys. We're gonna go back and we're gonna destroy the shit out of that ambush that I was talking about. Because it's completely... It's now a child's play, basically. So, uh... See you guys next time on Let's Play the Temple of Elemental Evil. I've been your host, Professor Charisma, and I will leave you guys with a joke. What did a triangle say to a circle? You're pointless. <laughs> Alright, see ya.